The data mapping feature of WP Webhooks Pro is a very powerful feature that allows you to customize payloads of incoming and outgoing data. This way, you can make external payloads compatible with our plugin and vice versa. You can connect these templates to either the actions and the triggers to customize their outputs. If, for example, an external webhook endpoint sends you data and it is not in the format as, for example, WP Webhooks requires it, you can use the data mapping feature to make it compatible by changing the values and adjusting them in a format so that they are working together. Once you head over to the data mapping tab, you will see a create template button. After clicking on that, you can add a template name. Once you enter your template name, simply click create and the data mapping template will be created as you can see here. The name is the name you just gave the template itself. Date time was the time and date when you created the template. And within the connected triggers and actions, you will see all of the triggers and actions that you actually selected this data mapping template for. As there is currently non-visible, we do not have it connected to anything. On the right side, you will find the three dots which lead you to further actions, which is where you can edit the template as well. After clicking on settings, a pop-up will appear and you're able to see further details. Within the main area, you're actually able to set up the rules to customize the incoming or outgoing data construct. At the bottom right of this section, you will find an import and export section, which allows you to import or export the template itself. A very powerful feature is the preview template functionality. Once you click on it, it allows you to test the data mapping template directly within your window. Before data mapping template, which basically acts as the input, is usually the data in the raw format when it was sent out or when it was received. And before the data mapping template was applied to it. To give you a short demonstration of the data mapping preview, I will add a JSON here and once I click on apply for incoming data, you will see that the data will look exactly the same way as we do not have any data mapping applied right now. Let's see how this output will be affected if we are adding a custom value. As a custom value, I type in demo key, which will be the key within the JSON and we add another key, which will be the value. We call this one test and as a value type, we select data value. Once I apply the settings and I head over to the preview template, and I applied for incoming data, you will see that the demo key will be added as well to the payload. Now it's easier to imagine that this data will be the one that will usually be sent out or will be received from your external service. And with a data mapping template, you're able to adjust that payload. Another very powerful feature is the template settings. Within the template settings, you're able to whitelist and blacklist certain data. If we, for example, whitelist, only the values that are actually mentioned within this data mapping template will be sent over. As we currently already have a data construct within the preview, I will demonstrate this for you. After I apply the settings, I can head over to the preview template. And once I applied for incoming data, you will only see the demo key left because this is the only one that we actually used within the whitelist template. This means all the other data attributes will be completely removed. This feature is, for example, then important if you do not want to send every data out of WordPress or from your WordPress website. This will lower the amount of data that was transferred, which allows you with most of the third-party service provider to use less of their space and pay less. The blacklist feature is basically the same, but just the opposite way. It will blacklist only the elements that are set within the template settings. Until this point, all the changes are temporary, so nothing has been saved yet. This is, for example, another very important aspect for the preview template, as you can adjust an already saved template, preview it, and check if it works, and if it works, you can save it. If you do not save it and you just leave the site using the X, your template will stay the same and no changes will be applied. Once you save the data mapping template, you are ready to connect them to your actions or triggers. To actually connect them to your actions and triggers, simply head over to your receive data or send data tab, depending on where you would like to connect it. In my case, I will demonstrate it with a demo data mapping template and we connect the receive data webhook URL. Once you have the receive data tab, you will see the webhook action URLs, which is where you can apply the data mapping template to. Once you apply the data mapping template, all of the data that is sent to this specific webhook URL will be manipulated using the data mapping template that you just set up. To finally connect it, simply head over to the actions, click on settings, and you will be able to now select the data mapping template. It is also possible to add the data mapping template to the response data. What this means is, once your third party service sends you the data or sends the data to the webhook URL, we will send a response back. This response can also be manipulated using the data mapping templates, and you can simply add it here as well. After saving the settings, everything will be ready, and once you you start sending data to this webhook URL, it will be manipulated using the template that you just set up. Another very powerful feature of the data mapping templates is the key tag, which basically allows you to reference to an already existing argument within the JSON or the data that was sent over or received from your website. To give you a better explanation about this, I will demonstrate it to you using the demo template that we created before. For that, I will head back to the settings. And as you can see, everything is configured as we had it before. And when I click on preview template, you will see the payload after the data mapping template was applied. Now our goal is to use the key tag to automatically 
map the demo key for example to a, to a value itself. To make that work, we simply add a new row. As a key, we add dynamic value for example. This will be the new key that will be added to the JSON. And once we're clicking to add key, we will add a new value. We call it the value of the demo key is. And then we would like to have the actual value. I'll do and save that quickly. We want to have the actual value of the demo key argument within this string. As we want to have this as a data value, we select data value here. And now we would like to map this key automatically or dynamically. To do that, we add two curly brackets two double points in between. And now we add the demo key argument in between, which basically references to the actual argument that we defined before. Once I apply the settings now, and I head over to the preview template functionality, I can apply this for the incoming data. And as you will see, it will return me the test of the demo key argument. This way, you can dynamically map values inside the data mapping template into other keys. Another main feature of the data mapping template is to actually map already existing values to a new field. To demonstrate that, I will map the demo key to a completely new key. To make that work, we add a new row, we add the new key value, I will call it test key. And once I go to the add key section and click into it, I now can define a mapping key as well which basically references to an already existing argument or mapping key. As we are currently want to map the demo key to the test key variable, we add the demo key within the data mapping key field. Once I apply the settings, we can head over to the preview template and you will now see that the test key contains the actual value of the demo key. This way, we can assign certain data that are not existing as by now within the external source to the new setup that is required from our plugin or from any other kind of setup that you would like to use within WP Webhooks. While there are a lot of more complex features available, please do take a look at our documentation on the ironicus.com docs. There you will find a lot of more manuals that help you get started with data mapping.